on. Oh my. So hopefully you guys can hear me. Here's some wood. So that is you, but if you take a look at, um, you get enough yew wood. Where's another yew tree? Ah, uh, there's uh, oak, oak. I think there's yew this way. Let me see here. Here, share. So I had a question uh, from somebody. What are the games? I, I've played most of the MMOs. Um, uh, I'm not. I'm not a really what you'd call a super PvP formatted player. Um, I know that I will be a rules. I mean, I'll find a niche. Um, I wonder if, if there's one in here. Let me change this. Not as loud in the background here. There we go. So if I remember right, there may be another yew tree in here. Let me work my way up the edges. And yeah, there's a yew tree right over there. And if I remember right, there is, yep, more bad guys there. Oh, good, the U-Tree respawned. Here, let me show you about the, let's see if I can, well, first things first. Boom, boom, boom. I want to get max health. I'm going to sneak up on these guys and do a... Three. Kill the healer. Keep moving and make sure I get... Again, keep healing. Ah, it got caught in the retaliate. I just gotta keep her in and then... Damn it, she's invulnerable for a sec. Damn it, there we go. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. How did I get so many people? Where'd that other druid come from? I'm gonna get myself killed here if I'm not careful. Damn it. I gotta keep moving or these guys are gonna get me. Uh, come here. Come here. There we go. Let's create some distance. As long as I can get out of the range of their shields. That's that retaliate for about 7, 8k. See if I can keep this guy up on the ridge. You see that? That was just more of a mistake on his part. But if I can get up to, to keep 
distance. Keep distance. Yeah, I mean, I I keep saving it too much. I really do save that way too much. They do have a lot of range. Well, and uh, my right mouse click allows me to close range quickly. Um, so let me get... Let me knock down a U tree. Well, yeah, I, I do have a short weapon, but, you know, look at the flanks of a duelist. They're just coiled. So, uh, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm really skilled at... Uh, here, let me blow up some pots while I'm here. Uh, craft, gathering. I was going to do a quick uh, harvesting here. Plentiful harvest. We got no shortage of everything. I think it's just because of my hairy flanks that I'm able to jump through. Have you found any use for Ithril Dust? Nothing right now. There's absolutely nothing for it. Um, it will be used... Uh, we're not sure if it's going to be used as a, a form of way to create currency. Is it going to be fuel? I don't even know if... It, you know, for all we know, it's going to be fuel. Your thralls may need to... You may need to keep shoving your Ithril Dust down their throats. Um, to... Uh, keep your thralls in 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 busyness you know it's hard to say so let's jump in here real quick the reason why I wanted to grab some wood um, is I don't know if anyone's here been playing with I know someone um, I'm throwing it away in beta remember you're they're gonna clear our inventory not this time but who knows maybe next time so I'm not too sold on stuff um, when you're doing anything wood based uh, there are some current um, wood alloys. Um, here's your life steel, uh, life steel U plank, which is interesting. Um, I have too many. Um, yeah, I've got lots of skills, but no things to spend uh, spend it on. Um, so if I do planks here. Um, does anyone know which character has the uh, um life steel? Is it the ranger? I am really looking forward to that long stream on Wednesday. Um, I've got lots of questions. I'm just not sure what times I'm going to be able to hit, um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna spend as much time in there as I can. Um, I got lots of questions, you know, no doubt about it. I think we all have lots of questions. We've been enjoying playing the game, but you know, it's hard to even call it a game yet because it really is just a, a mixture of uh, mechanics that we're all testing. And that's exciting, but it's not until we can get a chance to really get in and and talk about where it's going. Uh, you know, it's still not a game yet, in my opinion. It's still, uh, you know, Ranger. So 400% life steal. Oh, thank you, Beetle. So when I'm looking at making a bow riser, I would need planks. So if I go into planks here, what wood do I have left in here? I've got crap. Um, here real quick while I've got, do I have anything here? Any decent wood around me? No? Oh, here's some oak. So let's go grab some oak real quick. I agree. I mean, there's, I mean, right now, without understanding all of my crafting, without understanding, ah... Uh, Uh, let's see how my sprint is compared to his sprint, huh? You see a duelist came up behind me, but even if this duelist is the same as I am, which I suspect that he is, my sprint, because of my gear is ridiculously good. 
And so I've lost him. Good to know. I just wanted to make a, a lifesteal bow piece, so let me find a nice quiet place. I just need a... I've got Beneficial Hardest on for a short period of time. But you see how easy it is? You're getting wrecked. I am, but I'm not. I mean, that's it. I mean, when I have my, you know, when I have my screens open, I'm not paying attention. But I tell you, uh, I've equipped my character with as much sprint as I could find. So my sprint is with all four pieces. I mean, we, there's no cloak. There's nothing else to do. I have about as much increased sprint as you can get. So, um, for me, it's all about getting the hell out of the way. When I'm running with teams, you know, when I run with a, a guild or a, a squad or something, then I'll be fighting people. But for right now, there are plenty of you skilled people out there testing combat. What the hell do you need my combat information for? So let's create another plank out of ash wood. So now we're going to have three planks. No use for hunger shards yet either. I've not seen any usefulness for hunger shards. So there's no stats right now on on ash. Um, I thought there was something, but um, you know, not all of the wood alloys are done. Um, they will eventually be. I think they will eventually get you know something for everything. So let's go ahead and say here's my limb. You know, so here's I'm going to go life steal, ash, life steal. Let's hope and see what we get. Increased amount of life steal. So um, here's where the C control of the Ranger. Maybe I need to start playing with the Ranger. Anyone play the Ranger in stream? What did you think? Hey, uh, Neil archetypes to be released. Yeah, I mean. Hey, Beetle, did you play uh, Ranger? What were your thoughts? I always trust your thoughts. Anyone play Ranger? Were they fun? Is it too hard? I'm not great. I mean, you saw I, I, I like my uh, pistol. Um, if you notice, I have a pretty good cone for my, uh, for my pistol. I just need to keep the uh, people within that range kind of a cone in front of me. My concern about a ranger is I have to be really accurate. Hmm, that's tough. So that's half of a bow. So we created a bow. Look at us, we're creating a bow. Let me eat some more apples here. Boy, you know, if somebody actually does kill me and loot me, they're going to have a really funny time, right? I'm walking around with some mail. I'm walking around with half a bow. They do hit very hard, and anyone who can aim will do very well. Well, see, I don't know if people know that uh, Beetle and I go back a little ways. Um, he cheats because when we played Team Fortress 2, he was one of those guys that played the sniper but with a bow. So his ability to aim is far different than my ability to aim. I'm able to aim with the sniper when I have a, a scope, but I just remember a many a many a game in Team Fortress 2 where I would be just sitting there pinned against the wall. So, yeah. Have you guys noticed that if you're patient, you can kind of really work the mountainsides here? Because here's the thing. If you're a melee character and you're going to come up here and try to get me, I get to shoot down at you an awful lot. And if you have a, uh, if you're one of those characters that actually has a knockback, boy, would it suck, right? If you could fight someone up this hill and give them a quick knockback, this is significant death damage. If you fall from here, it is a significant amount of damage. I'm sure they'll fix this, though. I mean, I would hope so. Because, you know, practice makes perfect. You have to stay alive long enough to practice. 
it's interesting, right, that both silver, gold, and marble all have this magical sheen. Yeah, the Myrmidon can pull. So they would be the ones that would be suck if you're up on the hillsides. They'd be able to pull you back down. Does the Myrmidon have a knockback also? Because wouldn't it be cool if you're up on the ridge, you pull someone up to the ridge, and then knock them down again? Because that would be... That would be fun to to test out. So, anyone got any generic questions? Like I said, I'm not really planning. Uh, I'm not doing too much. I'm just going to be derping around. Um, is that the best class for a crafter? Yeah, both. Oh, wait, both player position needs to work through. Yeah, I bet on the Ranger, anything uh, height, angle, X, Y coordinates are going to suck. Um, any incline, yeah, that's going to suck. Right now, uh, Luke, I like the Duelist for two reasons for crafting. One, I can actually... I can actually craft under underground. So if I'm hiding from people... I can find a nice quiet spot where maybe people won't find me. Let me see here. Yeah, shade helps. I mean, that's not that's not easy to see, right? And I still have the full crafting uh, ability of my thing. Two, I can get away from people really easy. Um, I I my biggest thing is I don't want to be seen to have to fight right now because I am trying to spend my time crafting. Um, the best way not to die is not to get in combat, to be honest. As of right now, there are people who say X character always wins or Y character always wins. That's not true. Based on the uh, whether or not you're hungry at the moment, your weapon versus someone else's weapon, I was uh, fighting some character and a guy was just running by me and he shot a, a, a confessor shot a fireball at this knight didn't stop and finish the fight just hit the knight with a fireball and I went from kind of losing to really winning in a huge hurt so um, the characters uh, they're not balanced for combat right now uh, a few of them have way too many uh, crowd control com uh, functions compared to other ones do but when you're just straight up crafting I like being able to craft in peace and quiet and right now, the duelist is the easiest character to avoid combat with. And avoiding combat makes for easier crafting. I mean, that's just my... Yeah, that's just my... That's just my uh, two cents. Um, yeah, so... Marble is interesting right now. Marble um, is used heavily um, in your uh, signs. So the seals, right? So you need marble and granite. Between marble and granite, I think uh, they have about 40% of all the combinations um, use either marble or granite um, to create um, prospecting signs or alchemy signs or whatever. Those type of things that you put into... Um, here, I'll show you. Those specialty seals, I keep calling them signs, I need to get that out of that. Uh, these specialty seals, um, these allow you to add a little bits of flavor to, like here you go, blacksmithing seal, leatherworking seal, you know. And see there are, grade, there are grade levels to them. So this one's a green one versus this one's a low white versus this one's a, you know, whatever. Um, there is something to be said about creating higher level items to bring in. As of right now, though, it kind of sucks because you don't get um, a lot. Some of them don't have any stats that they bring in. And earlier in my previous stream, we noticed that if I brought in uh, a prospecting, uh, if I brought in a prospecting, here, let me get to the thing. I keep bringing it out. So we were making some uh, metal bars. And so in blacksmithing, in uh, weapon components, I made a metal bar. I made a metal bar out of iron. 
Then I made the exact same metal bar out of iron and I threw in a prospecting seal. One bar had attack power benefit and the other one had prospecting benefits. That doesn't make any sense to me. I really feel like your specialty seal should add above and beyond. So if it's the exact same bar, um, well, what the hell? Let's just do it on. Let's just do it on camera. And how much do I have? I got plenty. So I've got enough to do. Yeah. So let's just craft a bar to begin with. Um, let's go gold, 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 right? We'll craft a bar. See how to support power point four people. I mean. I'm going to skip all the grades because we're doing a straight up, we're do, just burning materials to make, con, to, make uh, to make examples, right? We're just not, we're not caring about the output. So hey Beetle, just want to let you know I'm at least 50 for 50, no take bugs on the right click. It's odd, but it's working. Um, now as soon as this seal comes out, we're going to go gold, gold, gold. And I'm going to drop this blacksmithing seal in. And so when, when you think of it, when you th for at least for me, when I think of uh, when I think of this crafting, I think, okay, I'm going to have support power, and I'm going to throw in uh, like a little extra benefit of blacksmithing, right? So I'm going to get, you know, I don't know, it's a blacksmithing speed or something or experimentation, who knows. Come on now. It is painfully slow. Like like they say, how long is a minute? It depends on which side of the bathroom door you're on. That's always one of my favorite ones. When you're waiting for something. I forget it is it 3 minutes? I don't know if it's 3 minutes. All this piece of crap stuff. Luckily, luckily, I'm not easily found by that other duelist or anyone else who wants to hunt me down. So, what should we expect to see, right? We should expect to see a gold bar made out of white. It should have a 0.4 base support power, and I should add some sort of benefit for blacksmithing. No, no blacksmithing, only support power. Isn't that interesting? So the blacksmithing seal brought in nothing on that one. Earlier today, when we brought in the um, prospecting one on the iron, it turned it to plethora of or uh, like a, of of a dust. It gave me a dust benefit and took away the attack power. This is amazing. Let's see what the difference is between so moderate success. So here's my other thing, and again, I'm not gonna uh, I'm gonna wrap up here soon. But um, something for you guys to take away for the stream. What does point oh three mean? Right. So here I have a bar which has support power point four. If I skip experimentation, I'm flat this. With experimentation, I got this. Is 0.03 noticeable enough over a range of things that's actually worth it? How do, first of all, how do we do the math, right? I, I like critical failures and I like critical successes, successes and failures, that's important. But my concern right now are moderate successes. Because if you're making me go through a hoop and there's a risk associated with that moderate success versus non-moderate success, if I actually have extra effort, but no one will ever tell that I built an entire sword out of this type of gold bar versus this type of gold bar, what's the point? So that's going to be an interesting thing for us to watch. Well, yeah, I know uh, it's interesting. Piercing damage and things like that are, you know, um, very little, uh, a low number 
I guess it comes back to, I just don't know how impactful certain numbers are. You know, how much is sprint efficiency worth? Look at my character here. Sprint efficiency. So I have 0.2 here. I have 0.2 here. Um, 0.235 here. 0.25 here. You know, it all adds up. I would think so. And here's the reason why, Bloodbath. Your piercing damage is awesome. I would suspect your hit on your sword is better than mine. Absolutely. I would suspect your piercing damage on your sword per per slash or per poke is better. I think my overall, my AP, my rapier stats help my pistol, and my pistol stats help my rapier. That's what we're going to have to figure out with our math. Do we stack attack power? Because if, especially with me, if I had two swords that had piercing damage, then piercing on one may help piercing damage on the other. But since one's crushing and one's piercing, piercing is only happening, helping this one weapon. So it's just going to be an interesting thought process and math process when we go through. Well, I'm going to take a break. Um, we'll see how long the servers are up. Everyone get in. Keep testing. Um, you know, please let me know. Uh, follow via, you know, follow me on Twitter. Ask me some questions. I'm more than happy to spend some time and effort. Uh, answering questions or maybe next time uh, next week we can figure out something to craft maybe we should try some plate next week so uh, hopefully uh, you guys have a, a a tolerable survivable week without crowfall and uh, I'm sure I will see you guys all in in chat or in discussions uh, don't forget the Wednesday live stream 12 hours of crowfall I'm hoping they turn up the servers dude hey pan how's it going Hey, Pan, uh, do you know if during the 12 hour uh, live stream, um, are servers going to be up or is servers just you? Oh, no, I can run a little longer. Hell, if you're going to be here, I'll keep I'll, let me let me uh, let's go do some uh, let's do some plate. So let's pull in some let's pull in some ore and we'll do some plate. Hey, Pan, do you know uh, we want people to watch the stream? Oh, I know. I was just hoping there'd be some back door for us to get on there because I, I would put a bounty on uh, on Blixdev in game in a heartbeat. The the thought of actually being able to kill a player or kill a dev um, in stream boy that would be joyful. I mean I I would I would giggle with glee. So let me move some crap out of the way here and let's create a piece of plate. That's the one thing I have not done. Um, I have not had any take, you know. If we have people are playing, we have to watch the play test, but we have to focus on the stream. Haven't you killed Gordon like a million times? Everyone! <laughs> uh, I avoid. I've avoided uh, most everything. So I work hard not to yeah so i don't know if i have enough copper let me go take a look here copper is golden right now oh i do have enough i want to create so i need iron how much iron do i have i don't have enough iron to do plate So let's craft something. So instead of plate, since I don't have enough to craft plate, um, but you think you can kill Blix? No. I think I can kill Blix if he's not looking. I'm a duelist. This is my, how this is how I would kill Blixdev. Blixdev is over here by this tree talking about how he's crafting. The duelist sneaks up over here to this tree, uses the three command, and then I use the Yosemite Sam... Goodbye, Blixdev. That's it. That's it. That's all I need. Because, boom. Done. Done. Better yet, I get three or four duelists to go with me. 
while Blixdev is there, because, you know, he's a pretty, you know, you know, he's just pretty grandiose talker, so he'll never notice. So, real quick, on the stream, let's look at crafting a, I don't know if you guys have played much with the rune crafting for rune making. Um, if you guys are, uh, if you're into gathering, I don't know if you guys saw the, the update, if you guys saw the update from, uh, Crowfall last week, that, um, they kind of changed how they're doing rune crafting items. Because right now, the best of the best is a golden rune fill in the blank. Why is that? Uh oh. Yep, there it is. Yes, sir, that's how we do it. We run. And we keep running. And we look for him and nothing. See that? That's how we duelists survive. We run. Oh, there he is. He's up there on the top of the ridge. You see him, people? He's up on the ridge. I see you. Hello there. I'm still here. <laughs> but see, when I'm chopping down trees and stuff like that, that's my problem. I, I get in, I get into trouble when I spend too much time in. Oh, was that you? How did you track me? Hey, Beetle, so is that you playing the Minotaur? Oh, it is Linception. So here, let's take a look at these guys up front. Hey, Beetle, are, if you're in, if you're in stream, um, can you take off your helmet? I'm just curious, does your model change? See that? So he's got, I, I, your, your model changes, so watch this. If I take off my helmet, what the hell, look at, the, did you see that? Isn't that awesome? Look at this. You're actually in my you're actually in my, uh, what the hell? Hello there. There you are. I see you. I see you. You're around me. But when I take off my helmet, my model is not changing. Yeah, I think, uh, I think right now we're the, we may be the only ones that don't change. So if, if, if people have been uh, in the stream, if you're starting uh, from scratch, your basic rune tools... See, whenever he grills, see, look at that. What the hell was that? Oh, I love it. What is the... Uh, 
What is the glare? Look at... Oh! See, that's nice. I, uh... That, that actually looks really nice. No, I'm not wearing basic armor. I'm wearing uh, high-end armor. I'm wearing... Uh, I'm wearing uh, leather-crafted armor. Here we go. P. Yeah, I'm 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 wearing all leather crafted armor. Yeah, I think it's the all the same armor skill. Yeah, I'm not in basic items though. I mean, I'm looking at all fresh blue crafted items. Um but again, I think ev like you said, it doesn't matter what I'm wearing. Duelists never take off their hat. It's so true. It's so true. Um, so we were just playing in stream. Uh, the concept of... Let me get these over here. Anyone else in the stream play with... Uh, anyone in the stream play with the many of the seals yet? Because it's kind of goofy. I want to craft something else than leather armor. Well, Casanova, let me be honest with you. Right now, one thing we did notice is in the spirit bank. Did I? I didn't bring it over. Um, all base leather items right now come with a uh, sprint efficiency and damage modifier. Those are the base things that come in regardless of what you do. Um, the, the issue being is once you get a chance, you get to add your own flavor. So I did critical hit and, and attack power mostly on my items. I just... Remember, remember way back when tennis... You could be in the in this too. Um, remember way back when where we actually got a benefit for wearing all of the same gear. Do we think that's still going to be in place? I mean, I made a, a really crappy set of green um, male uh, gloves today. Their durability was ridiculously good. Hey, Scree. It's own train skill. Well, I mean, if we go into crafting and go into skills and go into crafting, we have... I don't... I don't see it. You know? Enchantments died in the game ages ago. Yeah, I mean... Now, I, I wish, I hope, that rune making that making actual uh, specialty seals couldn't specialty seals be a part of enchanting? I mean, right now I'm in I can enchant with specialty seals a set of gloves that give me an amazing amount of extra skinning when I kill uh, when I skin things. Um, I I'm just curious. Right now, all I have for seals are only gathering and crafting related. Um, they don't. They don't. Uh, seals don't give a lot of benefits yet. But then again, that's just numbers. Remember, we were talking about uh, as of right now, uh, seals don't do a lot. But then again... That's just math. Uh, here we go. Let me go over here. And where is that at? One second, people. I was just going to share a, a link in stream. I can dig that out. But um, the, the funny thing is right now is uh, I, I don't see the benefit of giving up a high level uh, statistic on an iron bar like attack power to get a little bit of statistic like uh, I get more dust when I mine 
So that's my challenge right now. I love the concept of of, of seals. I am hopeful that even though um, even though it's not in game, even though enchanting is not in game, that doesn't mean that I can't figure out something to use with seals that feels uh, beyond um, kind of like enchanting. It kind of feels more like, well, let's be honest, it feels more like uh, really, really bad uh, uh, socketing for gems. If only the gems that you, it's like socketing for gems, but if only the gems you have deal with crafting and gathering. Um, let me see here. Uh, let me see. There is... Yeah. So, when I go into... The other thing is that for seals, right now, the only thing seals are in armor. Um, there are no seals in weapons. So maybe eventually we'll take a look at look at seals as an opportunity in weapons, and that could be more of an enchanting flavor, where right now seals uh, on armor, you know, really are just kind of weak. Bah! No worry, Pan. Keep chatting. I'm just I'm just mouthing around. Um, we were just playing with the difference between here. Let me show you um, leather working. Uh, leatherworking components in case people were interested in stitched if I go bear 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 skinning leatherworking crafting speed right so my challenge and I, I we brought this up earlier is what does point oh five mean see how this leatherworking crafting speed so let me create the next Next, no, you know, run my experiment. Next, make item. Right. S still zero take bugs. Still at zero take bugs, people. So here's my difference, right? I have bear. I used bear to create this leather working speed thing. If I do a combine on bear, I get attack power. Yeah, see, I don't know. Is that 0.05 uh, or 5%? 5%, that would be ridiculous. If it, if it truly is 5%, then my mitigate, then all the work that I've done on attack power is like 400%. That would be that would be pretty awesome. But hey, tennis, you're you're a good one for me to throw this at too. See the difference between these two pieces of stitched leather? Same pieces of bear. I lose attack power, which is an inherent skill or inherent stat. I lose attack power for crafting speed. I would feel like the seal should add on. <laughs> oh my god, wouldn't it? Um, but I feel like the seal should add on to the leather, uh, to the inherent flavor or the alloy ability of the leather, right? Because a regular set of stitched bare leather, which is used as a component in lots of other things, it brings over attack power. So the different being is when I'm in, how sad is this? But if I'm in weapon components, weapon grips, right? Jay. There it is, weapon grip. So when I create a, let's say I'm creating a weapon grip for my weapon, right? So here's my weapon grip. I got support power. Where in the hell did that come from, right? Yeah, um, well, and again, my point is not that the combos are worthless or not. My combo is I, I'm not excited that I actually lose uh, the base flavor of the mats that I'm bringing in. 
Because if I'm making a weapon grip for my rapier, and I use bear, which should give me attack power, I would want attack power plus leatherworking speed. Still at 100%. Look at this. Wish I would have ran across that sooner. So now I have attack power and support power. I don't know where the support power is coming from. I had a couple people in stream uh, last night talk about how they had unknown um, stuff come in. Yeah, I, that's what I presume. I mean, it is. It overwrites any of the existing combat stats to harvesting crafting only. I just, I just, I don't like it. I, I feel like we're leaving, we're leaving on the table. Now what? I'm going to have to take off my combat gear to put on my skinning gear. That, that just to me just doesn't seem very effective or efficient. And it doesn't seem very realistic um, compared to the rest of the complexity in the game. I don't know where the support power coming from. I had a couple other people talk about um, what I would consider ancillary um, stats coming in because this is bear. Bear has no support power on it that I've ran across unless I start bringing in things like elk or arrock, right? When I start creating bear alloys of leather, then I can start seeing adjustments in the in the numbers. This is straight up bare. There is no seals, nothing. It's no different than straight up alloy of iron, to be honest. Yeah, I know. Weapon components have inherent stats. What kills me is why would you assume a weapon hilt would have support power, I guess? Yeah, I guess that's what we're seeing, Tanis. Uh, I, I'm seeing a lot of people do that, so... But so far we've been we've been really good. I've not seen um I'm gonna jinx myself here. I've been two and a half days uh it, it's in, in planks. Yeah, so how much tree do I have? I don't have enough tree. I do, here we go. Um I've been two and a half days um, yeah, support is useless for a duelist, right? I mean, look at him. What do I, first of all, why do I need your support? I'm awesome. I am the best character in the whole thing. So I don't need your support. Uh, I'm a winner. So that there's that. Second of all, he has no secondary, uh, statistics, no, nothing to use, uh, support power for. So it just seems odd back to the original discussion is that you actually um, honestly if plus stealth works at this point um, I haven't uh, you can use cat if you use hellcat leather um, you can get a plus stealth, stealth bonus I just don't know how to tell I don't know how to test it right I mean do I get within X amount of feet and now I see you or now I don't um, it just doesn't I, I just don't know how to test something like that. I'd love to. I, I mean, I'd love to test it. Um, yeah, so when I look at the paper doll, I mean, I don't have any stealth on this, but all of my stats make a difference. So if you look at my... Um, there's my damage modifier. Does anyone know what the uh, weapon... Uh, not that... Um, what does damage modifier do? I would love to see... I know this is me just saying things out loud. I would love to see a mouth over mechanic, mouse over mechanic here that tells me what the frick does damage modifier mean. So it's determined by the viewer's perception versus the stealthier stealth stat. Yeah, I mean, I guess that would be a really tough one to test. Because, you know, everyone's stats different. But for me, I created all of this leather armor that came with inherent damage modifiers. So there's plus 10 or 10% 10 damage modifier. Don't get me started on attributes. All the stats are a mystery. I really do feel like all the stats are right now are a mystery. Um, 
So real quick, let's go in and take a look. We had someone talk about wooden uh, handles. Uh, let's go into woodworking. Uh, wood crafts, not wood crafts, wood components, plank. Birch. I'm just curious if we bring in a whoop, uh, if we bring in a, um, if I create a grip from a plank, do I get support power also? You know what I mean? So if I go to weapon components, and I go to weapon grip and I bring in a plank yeah but see isn't that yeah it's attack power so are they telling me as a duelist it's better for me to bring in a wooden 